Look, what I want to cover uh, today, really three things. Alan sent me, just come back, Alan sent me this wonderful topic, um, innovation project management paradox and how to deliver certainty and creativity. Now, it took me most of my flight over to Portugal to work out what that actually meant um, because it's a tough one. So I do want to talk about that. I want to talk about, at a more macro level, putting strategy into action because ultimately that's what we have to do in every organisation. And then finally, just leave you with some, some my rule of seven. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, Australia, Australian Institute of Project Management is the peak body for project management in Australia, as Alan said. We exist, obviously, to, to look after our members and, a, and as a not-for-profit, are funded by our membership. But we have a really important role to advocate for the importance of the project management discipline in this country. And we estimate that around about 33 to 35% of our GDP is delivered through projects. So that's not insubstantial. We obviously have a, a regulatory and oversight role in terms of standards. Uh, the the uh, project management standards were developed by AIPM many years ago and we have a, a certification framework around that. But we also certify and accredit uh, organisations that provide education and training in project management so that we can get some consistency and, and equity, but also currency in the education and training that people go through across the country. Let's talk about this paradox, because it's pretty interesting. Now, I needed to remind myself and of what a paradox really is, and it's a statement that's self-contradictory. So innovation, project management, two statements that are both true, both really valuable, but in general, can they be true at the same time? Now, a lot of people say to me, you know, well, let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. So let's see if any of these re resonate with you. Innovation is all about ideas. Project management's all about process. Innovation's all about change. Project management's all about certainty. Innovation's fuzzy. Project management's black and white. And you can see the paradox, can't you? So pity the poor project manager that walks in with Gantt chart in hand and clipboard in hand into the innovation foray, wanting to then say, let's work together, sort of fundamentally don't align, do they? Does anyone disagree with that, by the way? No, it's pretty hard to disagree, isn't it? But, you know, the bottom line is, in fact, the bottom line. Innovation and project management is about, are both about strategy execution. They are both about delivery. And to be perfectly blunt, innovation without project management is just another good idea. Okay? So let's explore that now that I've drawn that line in the sand. Because ultimately, what we do for and on behalf of our organisations is ensure that the strategy that is formed is implemented. And we do that in multiple ways in our organisation, but that's what we, why we exist. Less than 10% of business strategies are effectively delivered. Now, if you think about the, the, the investment in people, in capital, that's a horrible number and I don't want anybody to be part of that statistic. So effectively, strategies fail, though, for two and two reasons only. So the first one is we got the wrong strategy. More often than not, those strategies fail through poor execution, okay? And that's a really good example of poor execution, um, building a, check, a stack of chairs on a beach but forgetting to get the timing of the tide right. Now, we have a view, and this is now part of the way that we operate and think as, as a profession, that a well-governed, project-enabled and risk-managed organisation, and I've inserted in red with an innovation mindset and a relentless focus on benefits will deliver sustained value for the shareholders and stakeholders. That's what we all want to do. But we've got to go back to first principles and, and think, what is it that we are trying to achieve? And that's the strategy formulation piece. 
where is our organisation going? And you translate this, of course, into business units or special purpose entities or however your organisation is structured. But where are we going as an organisation? What are our outcomes and in ongoing and enduring benefits that we seek for our shareholders and stakeholders? And that thin red line underneath is in fact the project management discipline, which allows our organisation to deliver what it seeks to deliver in its strategy, assuming that it's got the right strategy. So fundamentally what we've got to do then is take that strategy, that strategic intent that says, you know, we want to be the biggest, we want to be the best, whatever that, that, that strategic intent is, and translate that into a portfolio of strategic initiatives. Because that's what we end up doing, isn't it? That's where we're going. But to get there, we have to develop a portfolio of strategic projects. And they will be functionally based, cross-functionally based, however way you choose to cut your portfolio. Because ultimately what we have to deliver is, portfolio, is benefits to the organisation. So what I want to do then is in the context of taking innovation anywhere along that value chain and turning it into outcomes, and I want to share with you my seven tips for the realisation of innovation. But number one, value creation and value protection, key to everything that we do. Every organisation on the planet exists to create value in their organisation for their stakeholders or shareholders and or protect that value. Now, the value will be described in different terms according to the organisation. Number two is around business agility. So business agility is critical for organisations to stay ahead of their competition. And obviously, the integration and interrelationship of innovation and project management to allow that agility, to, to enable an organisation to think and act with agility are critical. Now, we still need some discipline while we're being very agile, okay? Otherwise, chaos. But it's about having discipline in a balanced and measured way to allow the organisation to react to uh, its external environment or to take, in some cases, fairly high risk positions to get ahead. So number three is to drive business success through consistent delivery, okay? Because really, what are we trying to do? What we're trying to do here is to have whether it be infrastructures or processes or practices or personnel who are able to drive that success by taking innovation, by taking the strategy and implementing it across the organisation in an often um, complex and ambiguous environment. So we need some standardised processes like project management. Number four is to optimise the portfolio. Now, that's probably one of the most difficult tasks that executives in any organisation undertake. Defining the portfolio, defining the strategy is easy. Yeah, this is where we're going. Now, to develop up a portfolio of projects that's balanced, that's within our funding envelope, that's within our available resources, uh, that meets our risk, a whole range of things is not easy. And there's lots of tools and techniques for doing this, but ultimately when we're looking at innovation projects, where do they fit in that balance versus a business as usual technology upgrade project? What's the return on the investment? What's the risk that we're going to take in defining that portfolio? And everybody, all of the, the, the functional heads in the organisation need to be at that table having that debate and fighting for those projects. Number five, we're nearly there, is risk appetite. This is really important when we're talking about innovation in an organisation. What risk are we prepared to take in the pursuit of delivery of our strategic objectives? And it needs to be an explicit risk statement. It needs to, to define 
where we're going to be open to risk and I would hope that with um, innovation and co-creation we are open to risk, okay, because we don't know what the future is going to, to hold. We don't know how it's going to, to look. So we want openness. We want some, some um, appetite to take risks and that's usually accompanied, well, if you're going to fail, fail fast. But similarly, we want to be averse. We might want to be very um, closed to certain risks, depending on your organisation. Uh, it may be closed to risks to our reputation. Number six is around governance. Um, you cannot deliver a portfolio of, of projects, whether they're high risk, low risk, short term, long term, um, innovation or IT projects, unless you've got good governance. It's as simple as that. And that really fundamentally is having that framework that enables rather than hinders. This is about opening up the organisation, taking down bar barriers, unlocking opportunities um, rather than taking a dogmatic approach. And the last one, and I know I'm preaching to the converted, but it's got to be driven. Innovation and disruption have to be driven um, from all parts of the organisation and there are people in this room far more skilled at I, than I at this. But my point here is from a delivery perspective, we have to have an innovation mindset and to be a catalyst, but we also need our project personnel to have that innovation mindset as well. So, look, in, in conclusion, the, the paradox between innovation and, and project management, you know, I said at the beginning it's, it's something that doesn't exist. You can't mix oil and water, but of course you can. And unless you do, we won't get the outcomes that we seek. However, it's not easy and we have to work really, really hard to, to achieve this. It cha we need changes in mindsets and, and processes. I think for all of us, it's often a little bit like building a plane. So building a plane in the sky, you've all seen this, I'm sure, but fundamentally, we don't know really what it looks like. We're off and running and we have to make sure that we do build this plane together so that we can actually achieve. Um, it's actually pretty good fun. <laughs> so look, in conclusion again, thank you very much and uh, I look forward to working with all of you.